Okay, so in this video, there are many proofs of this logarithmic law right here. I just wanted to show you one of the ways I like to prove it because I like to use proofs that build on substitution and uh, laws of exponents. So how I might do this is by saying, okay, I've got a lot of stuff happening right here. <clears throat> I've got the log base A of A plus the log base A of B and it equals the log base A of A times B. What if I just kind of write this out? Let's see, u equals the log base a of a. So if that's true, by definition of a logarithm, that means that we have little a to the power of u equals big A. And likewise, if I say v equals the log base a of b, by definition of what a logarithm is, that means little a to the v has to equal b. So what does that mean? Well, the log base a of a b, right, what is that? Well, I could say that's the log base a of a times b is now the same thing as using these definitions here. Log base a of a to the u, this is little a, times b, instead of b, or a to the v. And I like this because I've got some stuff to work with here. I've got some exponents to work with. Now, law of exponents tells me that log base a of a to the u times a to the v is equal to log base a of a to the u plus v, right? Law of exponents. You've got two things, multiplying them equal base, you add the exponents. Now, what can we do right here? Well, this by definition is u plus v. Why is that? Well, this is saying, if we just kind of step back for a moment and look at this piece right here, what this is saying is that the log base a of a to the u plus v, it equals u plus b because this is saying little a to what power, this is what we're solving, equals a to the u plus v. Well, the only way that could happen is if you have little a to the u plus v. It literally equals a to the u plus v. So that's what we're connecting right there. And we're done. Eureka. Why? Well, this whole chain of things here equals log base a of a times b. But we proved that this eventually does just equal u plus v, which is what we have here. u equals the log base a of a plus v, and v equals the log base a of b. So we've done it. We've basically shown, right, kind of an informal proof here, but we've shown that the log base a of a times b equals the log base a of a plus the log base A of B. And that's our first, often our first law of logarithms. All right, hope that helped.